Hello, my friends on the internet. Thank you for joining me for another episode of the uh, Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark full play. Uh, when I last I left off, Soundwave had just cleared some acid and Shockwave revealed his new minions, the Insecticons that he uh, recruited. Which is actually pretty awesome. I do actually like that. Uh, and now we are seeing where we're going now, to the Vault of the Dark Spot Park, apparently. Pretty good voice actor for Starscream. Want to know if that's the end of our bug problem. Not entirely. Those three influence the swarm, but as is the case with such That's cool actually that they are They do so only through asserting dominance. Yeah, that's just pretty cool. The others defer to them. But when they are absent, they'll still be feral bugs. Great. I think I'm going to like this story story mode. Let me try that sentence again. I think I'm gonna like this story better than I'm gonna like Transformers Age of Extinction. Hey, look, another door. Did someone order a second door? I love this alt mode. I hate Soundwave. I hate mass shifting. Like, which, which is what uh, Soundwave usually did in Generation 1 cartoon. Oh, I wish I was looking back there. I, I didn't like Soundwave turning into a boombox. I didn't like Megatron turning into a gun. Or I didn't like them doing that and still being 60 foot tall robots. Yep, I will swap that gun out. Oh, I wanted to look pat at behind me before that door closed. Oh well. Hey! Fire! Oop! Don't hold down right trigger. Or left trigger. Hey, you guys want to fire at this? Okay. Looking behind me. Anyone coming up behind me? Are you gonna close the door? Okay. No one coming? Fire! Ah, I was hoping to get it just through the lock. Okay, nothing. I... Um, I tried going to my heavy weapon, but it didn't take the button press. Hey, thank you guys for firing, actually. So I love that Soundwave is like Megatron's right hand, and it, he's just a really good character to me because he's uh, Matt Teager, the guy who did the directed the Fall of Cybertron, described it as Soundwave is loyal to the Decepticons, Starscream is loyal to Starscream, and Shockwave is loyal to Shockwave, or no, no to, uh, to Science or something that effect. No, Shockwave is loyal to to Cybertron. I'm like that's a fascinating way to look at these characters. I'm glad they are drawing all the fire and not me. It actually just occurred to me that I have those three characters in, in my company right now. So I, I'm rather enjoying this. Basically anytime I can play as a character who can turn into a truck is a good day. I just noticed something that the I just noticed something that I was on the uh, Transformers figure that I have of Soundwave, but isn't dicked out with any sort of uh, stickers or paint job or anything, and I might want to take a paint into it. Yeah, that was, uh, glad that we disabled those. Chill out, Megatron. We're doing our best, you impatient dick. Oh, come on, stop being an asshole. I don't think I need any in here. Nope, no gearboxes. Alright, that's fine. Calcula? Is that a new city? I can't say I recognize that name. I love anything that adds mythology to the uh, Cybertronian to Cybertron. What? Why is Zeta Prime here? 
Ah. That's actually pretty cool. Ooh, that's a big statue of Zeta Prime. Who should be called Sentinel Prime. I'm okay with the name Zeta Prime, but I definitely would have preferred if he had the name Sentinel Prime. I like this room. This is a, this is a pretty impressive looking room. Sorry, I'm getting lost in the uh, implied history in this room. Laserbeak. Are you just gonna sit there and do nothing, Laserbeak? Apparently you are. Laserbeak, you're doing something, yay! I'm just gonna sit here and uh, melee when you come out. Melee you when you come out. What did achievement did I just get? Short circuit. Reach level five, yay! Well, let's go ahead and open this gearbox. As long as I'm here. Snarl, cool. Duplicate converted. Okay. Oh, I'm guessing these are random things, and I just got something that I already had. So, it, yeah, okay. I'm guessing what's going on. Riot cannon, yes. Hound, cool. I like that design. I bought every single DLC for Fall of Cybertron. I'm, I'm complete sucker for Fall of Cybertron and, and the Cybertronian games. In fact, when I bought my Xbox 360, the first game I bought was um, uh, Transformers the Movie. Cool. Stuff I got. I got some stuff. Hey! I melee you! Uh, you're a shotgun, aren't you? Yeah, the scatter blaster. I love this room. I'm sorry, I, I... I love it when I can Im imagine that the Cybertronian race actually has a history and a, uh, culture. So that, that all gets me all giddy when I see stuff like this. Another reason why I love making my own characters. I'm rather disappointed that I can't make my own characters in this game. Or rather, it doesn't really uh, help me make them easily. I also probably am be head cannoning the uh, my own characters. I wish they had. I died. I was trying to say something, and you shot me! Huh. Well, that sucks. I wish they had made a Zeta Prime figure. That is a cool design, I liked it. Granted, the game design's very much obviously cheated. Yes, by all means. Let us continue this progress, fools, Aaron. Well, I unlocked stuff, so that should still theoretically be unlocked, right? I hate the gear shredder, yuck. So I can either use the Path Blaster or the Riot Cannon that I had. Oh, I really should stick with the Path Blaster because I have more ammo with it. Let's give the Riot Cannon a shot. And we'll go ahead and throw that. Alright, played out with some of my equipment. Oh, really? 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 Okay. But as is the case with such primitive societies, I like this. They do so Sorry, I'm, I'm say, repeating myself. Oh, hey, I get to place watch. Look behind me this time. I'm gonna guess I'm gonna see a turret pop out. Cease your whining, star scream. Now let me focus on opening this door. I didn't like in War for Cybertron. They called the giant slugs space slugs because that's just kind of lazy writing to me. Look behind me, what do I see? What comes out? What did Starscream see? Uh, nothing apparently. What was that? I don't like that they made Starscream's ability something cloaking. On my scanners just before the door closed. Why do you have green on you? Scanning. Or is it just reflection? Satisfied Starscream. Probably just reflection. The Insecticons have yeah, probably reflection. I'm not afraid. Haha, <laughs> you're afraid. No, there wasn't. It appears as if someone was here and I still have this guy? Okay. Yeah. Ago, based on a very preliminary assessment. Systems. Yes. He got shot. Right. I loved the character creator in Fall of Cybertron. It was ra rather awesome that they uh, included it. Why are you both aiming at me? What did I do to you? Wow, you're doing nothing. Oh my god. 
Could you guys shoot at them, please? I'm going to die. Because you aren't shooting. Oh my god! So my heavy weapon against those turrets was useless. That's awesome. Onward into the vault. No, no, I swear. I used to be pretty good at this game. Don't, don't, uh... Don't judge me. I'm good, I swear. I just want to know if that's the end of our problem. Not entirely. So let's see, I told you about my, uh... Oh, I didn't tell you about what, uh... Uh, my seeker looked like. My custom character of the scientist was a seeker mold. So he had seeker ask elements, but not uh, completely. He was primarily uh, black and green with a um, visored face. Uh, Sunder, I can't get Sunder right. His color scheme is supposed to be he's very bright silver, like shiny silver, chromish almost. Well, no, not chrome, but gunmetal silver, really. But I can't have that. Your gunmetal silver and purple. And I can't have that in the game, so I had to make him purple and black or something like that. So that kind of sucked. Uh, Sunder, my favorite character that I have, actually, is the guy who thinks that life is a video game. And he uses the brawl body. And I rather like that. Based on a very preliminary assessment. My Autobots that I've made. My primary character is uh, Burnout, who uh, used the, um, what was it, Dead End chassis? And uh, he's red and gold. Boy, I love how these weapons take it out instantly, but the uh, heavy weapon did nothing to him. Um, and then I've got. Uh, my next character for the Autobots is um, Daxion, who is the leader of their squad, and he is, um, he was a swindle, the swindle chassis, and he was uh, blue and red, Ultra magnus -y colors, but darker than Ultra Magnus, really. And then I've got... Um, Breach, my tank, who uses the Demolisher body and is uh, brown and blue. And I'd rather like him. When I uh, ordered Soundwave's minions from Sh Shapeways, I ordered an extra um, Ravage figure in white and decided that that extra white Ravage is Breach's little bunny, little buddy Glitch. So the fact that I can't have him in game makes me sad because I like Breach and Glitch. Because Breach is very much a hard ass soldier, soldier type guy, slightly stereotypical, but he's kind of um, cuddly with his buddy Glitch. It's like, oh, who's my pretty kitty? And then I've got my medic Patchup, who is female, but the game didn't really make a female, so I made what best I could. And she's a flyer, she was a paramedic, uh, fast response. For her figure that I made, I took the, uh, uh, Fall of Cybertron Starscream figure and hacked up the back a bit and threw some stuff on there to make it look more, uh, thrusterish. And actually rather pleased with how it came out. Not completely feminine either for the figure, but I think I did a decent job of it. Uh, Breach is brown and um, Breach is brown and blue. That was a lot of bees in that sentence. Um, and Patch Up is uh, she is very much chrome and red. The the bam! Hey, I said bam. God damn it, you got in my way. You guys take out the stuff in the air, I'll take out the book, guys. There we go, bam! Hey, hey! Oh my god! This is harder than it should be. Okay, I'm going back to the Path Blaster because I need the accuracy. 
The riot cannon is good for area effects. And it's pretty awesome. But... Okay, why did it start me at a checkpoint here now, as opposed to the last time I died here? Alright. I guess I'm not going back to the, uh... I guess I'm not going back to the, uh... Path Blaster. I can't hit those things with the Riot Cannon. Death to Autobots! I am very much an Autobot at heart. As uh, people may have noticed, my uh, gamer tag is an Autobot. Or not gamer tag, gamer picture. What is this? Oh, that's the uh, heavy gun. Speaking of which, let's head switch to that. See how this does. Hey! Hey! Whoa! 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 Fire! Kill that thing! God damn it! I, I'm sorry guys, I, I swear I'm good at this game. Those little turrets just completely chew me up. I think I'm going to make my new life's mission to destroy those turrets. Shockwave. Yes, 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 yes. guy. Coffin pops up. Guy comes out. Why is he uh, gray this time? Oh, they have been changing color, haven't they? I just haven't really been noticing. I kind of noticed, but not enough. Okay, there's another one. Bam. Laser beak. Go. Let's try switching to the vehicle mode. Do, can I turret them? Can I turret them? What the hell is that? Can I lock onto them is what I was thinking. No, I can't lock onto them. Nope. I hate when I accidentally press left trigger in vehicle mode to uh, zoom in. Because that's not what zoom that's not what left trigger is. Stop it, stop it! What the frick? Those things just completely tear through me. Even when I'm trying to keep an eye out for them, one of them on me just destroys me. <sighs> I'm betting it's going to be Zeta Prime Corps. Hey, he's green now. Laser beak, go protect me. Please stop dying, Brian. Okay, where's the next turret? Where's the next turret coming from? There you are. Gonna shoot you in the face. Where's the next one? It's gonna be a next one, I'm sure. Laser beak, you still out? Yes, you are. Okay. Where's the next turret? You just came out just as I switched my weapon, didn't you? Yeah, you did. This is a horrible idea, using that weapon at such far range. Whoa! Grenade! 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 Yes, get out of here. Alright. Can I try to take out some of the minions? Across the way? Okay, another laser beak, go! Nope, oh, can't do laser beak yet. Running out of ammo. <laughs> this room is scaring me now. Okay, you just fire something in the air. Okay, laser beak, go! Protect me! The quote Vanessa, protect me like a little duckling I am! Because I was just looking at that quote earlier. Oh, grenade! Oh, bad guy! Bad guy! Alright, I don't see anyone shooting at the sky. Where, where? This room scares me, guys. Laser beak, go out there and protect me from him! Where? This guy shot. Where'd you go? 
Come on. Die. I like the riot cannon, but not as well as the path blaster. Did I, did I get a checkpoint? Hey, that's an actual quote. I concur. Their presence is good news indeed. That's cool. Guys, I did it. Only took me what four tries. You can be quite short-sighted, Starscream. Yeah, you can. You see peril where I see proof. The dark spark is here. I love that they have little things moving on them all the time. And the uh, glowing purple is cool. What about Frenzy, Rumble? You also probably have Ravage. Three and a half. Spread out and find the other three access terminals. Then await my signal. I shall secure the fourth. Yeah, you do. So I'm playing a shockwave now. But yeah, it's been 20 minutes. I'm gonna end it here for this episode, guys. Thank you for joining me on another episode. Hope you had some fun, and I'm sorry that I suck so much. See you next time.